the difference between the World Bank and the International Monetary Fund? Geek out with me. Ah, the World Bank. Sounds like some kind of big, beautiful bank that everyone in the world can go to. And the International Monetary Fund basically sounds like one big ATM. Not exactly. Let's start at the beginning. In 1944, at the end of World War II, delegates from all 44 allied nations met in Bretton Woods, New Hampshire, at what became known as the Bretton Woods Conference. They had just come out of a world war and the Great Depression, and these countries wanted to regulate a new financial order and help get everyone back on their feet. So out of this conference, they created the International Bank for Reconstruction and Development, which later became part of the World Bank. And they also created the International Monetary Fund, or the IMF. The job of the International Bank for Reconstruction and Development, or IMF, BRD, was to help rebuild Europe and Japan after the World Wars. And over the years, it became focused on global development. And then along with another institution, it became part of what's now called the World Bank Group. Thank God, since IBRD kind of sounds like a gastrointestinal condition. The World Bank has 189 country members, and its mission is to reduce poverty by lending money to the governments of its poorer members. The World Bank also advises countries on how to pursue policies that would improve their overall economic well-being in areas like health, education, nutrition, finance, justice, law, and the environment. In terms of its funding, the World Bank is basically a trust fund baby. I'm only half kidding. The World Bank uses trust funds to complement core funding raised from the IBRD, the International Development Association, and the International Finance Corporation. Interestingly, the World Bank's president is always American, which comes from an unofficial agreement that was made at the time the bank was created that its leader would be American and the IMF leader would be European. The IMF is different from the World Bank because it works to support economic policies all over the world with the goals of promoting financial stability and economic cooperation. Their idea is that by doing this, they can increase productivity, job creation, and economic well-being, which helps achieve sustainable growth and prosperity for all of its 190 member countries. The IMF is funded by its members, and the way it works is that each country is assigned a financial quota they must pay, and that quota is based on their relative position in the world economy. The greater the quota they pay, the greater voting power they have in the system. Countries can then borrow from this pool of cash when they face financial difficulty. As of 2023, the IMF has $1 trillion available for lending. So I would think of the difference between the World Bank and the IMF like this. The World Bank is primarily a development institution. It's focused on helping developing countries achieve sustainable growth by providing development loans. Whereas the IMF works to coordinate international currency exchange and the system of payments and receipts between nations. If there are other explainers I can do, or if you have more questions, let me know in the comments below. And if you like this series, check out our other videos, and don't forget to like this video and subscribe. And thanks for geeking out with me.